Are you ready to learn the secrets of wealth from one of the oldest cultures in history? For centuries, Jewish communities around the world have thrived financially, with a disproportionate number of successful business owners, entrepreneurs, and investors. These communities have passed down their wealth-building strategies from generation to generation, leading to a deep understanding of the principles and practices that lead to financial success. And today, we're going to dive into the fascinating world of Jewish wealth wisdom to find out their secrets for unlocking riches and achieving financial freedom. There's this misconception that Jewish people only care about doing the right thing and don't really care about money because it's seen as materialistic. But that's far from the truth. In fact, did you know that one study conducted by Pew Research recently revealed that around 23% of Jews said that they earned $200,000 or more? That's one in four individuals falling into this category. In contrast, only 4% of adults in the United States can say they've reached such an income threshold. This basically means that Jews don't really see poverty as something holy. They actually consider it more like an unwanted burden. Even the rabbis think it has no virtue at all, just pointless suffering that shouldn't be admired, and it's not even seen as something positive in the Tanakh. In fact, Jews go out of their way to avoid poverty, like the plague. They always strive to have a decent income through meaningful work or starting their own businesses, depending on the situation. In Jewish law, each person needs to strive for self-sufficiency and not rely on others. Even when the wealthy offer support to others through philanthropy or charity, it's not just a reward for existing. The recipients are still expected to work and earn a living. While many Americans and Europeans struggle with financial burdens like student loans, credit card debt, and all sorts of financial issues, the Jewish community worldwide keeps pushing forward and excelling in both their entrepreneurial endeavors and personal finances. While it may sound great, it's actually a double-edged sword for them, you know? Their collective financial success has also led to all these stereotypes and theories about their finances. First of all, as we mentioned earlier, they're often seen as being cheap, which also leads people to think they're greedy. But both of these assumptions are simply not true. Second, there's this pervasive notion that the Jewish community got to build their wealth because they have significant influence over the financial sector and the global economy. But let's be clear, this belief is not only untrue, but also harmful and one of the oldest and most anti-Semitic ideas out there. In fact, Adolf Hitler himself used it to justify the horrific annihilation of the European Jewish community. So, what is true? Over thousands of years, the Jewish people have shared a treasure trove of timeless and foolproof financial rules tucked away in their holy books. Passed down through generations, these invaluable secrets touch on different aspects of life, like social interactions, business, money management, and wealth. That's what guided them in their wealth accumulation. When it comes to money, many Jewish individuals, especially those who are religious, often seek guidance from the Torah, the Old Testament of the Bible. To them, the Torah teaches invaluable values they need in life, like generosity, kindness, and a sense of community. What's even more remarkable is that these teachings start in childhood. Jewish parents make sure to teach their children the value of critical thinking and self-reliance, which empowers them to make wise financial decisions. And one way they do that is through their five jars system. Here's how it works. They give children some money and then start teaching them about it. They have these discussions about what money is and what it's all about. Then they explain that they need to divide their money and put it into five different jars, which are for tithe, savings, investing, charity, and spending. It's just like having a piggy bank, but with a bigger purpose. Now, let's dive into how that system works by considering a practical example with just $1.10. So once the child gets the money, they quickly figure out exactly how much should go into each jar. According to the biblical teaching, one should faithfully put aside 10% of the money as an offering to God. So, the child puts $1 in the tithe jar with reverence, which means they have $9 left. This practice is really important for Jews because it teaches the child the value of being generous and helps them avoid being greedy. When it comes to the savings jar, Jewish children are actually taught to set aside 10% of their money for unforeseen challenges and emergencies. Yep, that's right. A child's training on money includes preparing them for unexpected expenses. Then, they set aside 20% of their funds for the investing jar, 
giving them the chance to try out any venture that shows potential for future financial growth. Now, you might wonder if $2 can make a difference as an investment, but think about how simple it is for a child to sell lemonade, for example. With just $2, they can buy lemons, sugar, and cups and turn them into a profitable product. That's how Jewish parents teach their children entrepreneurial skills right from a young age. Plus, kids will have full control and freedom to decide when and where to invest their saved money. Parents won't intervene even if their children make mistakes, letting them learn from failures. This helps kids become better decision makers and develop a sense of responsibility. Just think about how this will shape their future as they grow older. Making more money will become almost effortless for them, like second nature. When it comes to the charity jar, kids usually put in 10% of their money. See, in the Jewish tradition, giving wholeheartedly is a way to help and strengthen the community. But it's not just about charity itself. Jews believe that the more generously you give without expecting anything in return, the more trust and support you get from the community. And that support is priceless when it comes to your future entrepreneurial endeavors. This principle is so important. After all, having a strong network of support is key to any business's success. Just think about learning such a profound business lesson at such a young age. The spending jar is where the child saves the other 50% that hasn't been allocated. The kids have the freedom to use this money for whatever they want, however they want. As you can see, Jewish individuals have this really interesting approach to money management. What's more, they've got this admirable habit of spending within their means and always adjusting their lifestyle to match their income. Instead of wasting money and mindlessly buying things, they focus on what truly matters and brings value. This means helping not just their family, but also their community and investing in their growth and education. By doing so, they create more value and build wealth along the way. It's pretty admirable, don't you think? Before we reveal the next Jewish wisdom on wealth, if you want to become government rich, then make sure to subscribe for more insightful videos like this one. They'll inspire you to grow as a person and they're free. Nowadays, people often think of Jews as being really careful with money, to the point that they see them as being really frugal or stingy. But the thing is, they actually have a good reason for acting that way. The Jewish community understands that money isn't something that stays the same all the time. The money you have and earn can change over time. There's even this saying in the Talmud that implies that making money takes effort, but saving money shows wisdom. So to build up a nice amount of wealth, Jews know that they have to work hard to find opportunities to make money. And at the same time, they need to cut out any unnecessary expenses. So wealth building to the Jews is all about two principles, which are working hard to bring in more money and being smart about how you spend it. That makes sense, right? If you want to get richer, you have to make more money while being careful with what you spend it on. That's how you grow financially and stay stable. Another interesting Jewish wisdom on wealth has to do with one's community. Did you know that the Jewish community values socializing and building connections? To them, it's a big part of their success and happiness. Not only do they prioritize personal relationships, but they also understand the impact their community can have on their financial matters. Just recall that concept of the charity jar. It's a perfect example of how they come together to support one another, even in their entrepreneurial pursuits. In the end, it all boils down to the power of networking. In an average community, there's usually a lack of concern for one another. People don't often put an extra effort to help their neighbors or support local businesses, which can lead to a sense of isolation. But the Jewish community is different. They understand the importance of social connections. To them, a community is not just about friendship and support, but also about sharing information and creating opportunities. So, they actively focus on personal growth and building relationships. Within their circle, they genuinely look out for each other, providing assistance when needed and making sure resources and opportunities keep flowing. Speaking of community, the Torah emphasizes the value of surrounding yourself with people who uphold strong moral values and avoid cheating. At the same time, it warns against those who intentionally exploit others. This is why in the world of business, many Jews, especially those whom we can consider as traditional Jews, consistently demonstrate honesty and integrity in their dealings. They are well known for treating others with respect, and their unwavering integrity makes it easy for them to build customer loyalty. According to the Talmud, 
If you want to acquire wealth, you should learn from and understand the strategies of those who are already wealthy or on their way to success. Well, guess what? You've done exactly that by learning the secrets of the Jews when it comes to building wealth. Remember, the Jewish community values hard work, discipline, and having a strong network of support. They also understand the importance of giving back to their community. All these allow them to live a life of abundance. And if you found this video useful, then you'll love these. And make sure to subscribe and leave a comment saying, I subscribed, and we will personally reply to your comment.